So I made a mistake last time. Apparently, saving and activating checkpoints are separate. So when you walk up this thing, you can press the touchpad to open this menu, but you have to hit X and do this to activate a checkpoint as shown on the bottom corner. If you don't do that, like I did, I had to redo the entire boss fight when I loaded the game back up to, to apply that patch. Whoopsie. But anyway, let's go find... There's Kazlo. Oh, that's not Kazlo, it's just some random dead dude. Where is he? He got knocked somewhere around here, I thought. Did he leave? Do I, do I need to find him necessarily? Hello, Kazlo. You know what? Instead of finding Kazlo, since he wandered off somewhere, I'm going to actually backtrack because we saw that one challenge room and it was like, Remember where this portal is? It will open if you something something. Oh, that glowing light's still here. They made a point to say that that, glow, that uh, portal will open. Looks like enemies respawn. But they are blind, so I don't have to fight these guys if they're not in my way. This guy's definitely in my way. Looks like I attack fast enough though that, that, that he can get in serious trouble. Does the other guy ambush me? He does not. There we go. My mistake I was making earlier with the boss fight, so I, I probably died more times than I should have, uh, is that... Uh, hello, t hello, people. Are they coming after me or are they just walking around? The doorway is here anyway, so I'll just keep going. So I'm going for that leftover portal. Yep. Interesting animation, dude. Now enjoy getting all of your organs removed. We're already almost to the portal, thanks, since I can skip half these guys. I think I'm going to try to see how it goes to have a streak go going on, too. Wow, you move, you move very quickly. With, when you, at, at least I move very quickly with my low armor. There we go. Everyone's dead. Each successive victory stacks up the chance of better loot and gradually increases the experience you yield further on. The streak resets, however, once you save a game or die. You can play it safe by storing the experience in save shards later or risk a, a lot for huge rewards. Okay, but here's what I was going for. Yep, it's one of these portals. It said it would open if I killed a strong boss, so I, a strong enemy, so I figured that meant the boss, and looks like I can go in now. So what's gonna be waiting for us inside? Hello? Anyone around? Yeah, I know, fine, Caslow, I understand. But I'd rather I'd rather deal with this first. Can I open this? The chest. It's a chest with empty bottle and faithful discipline. So some kind of armor. Looks like a ring. Is this all that's in here? It's just some chests. A shield and a sh ghost merge shard. I don't know what that means yet. Huh. I was expecting this to be like a challenge room or some sort of difficult fight. Looks like it's just free loot. Can, what happens if I walk out here? Ow. Okay. Question answered. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, now I have to heal real quick. But that's fine. I have another... I got another uh, shard there. Yep. Health potions 5 out of 7. So now I found two... I found two open empty bottles, so now I get up to seven healing potions, it looks like. They're giving those to me fast. Let's see. Energy shard. It's the, the energy inside is about to, to burst, give it full. Oh yeah, for a short period, the consumer feels an increased influx of energy, so I get faster energy, probably. Ghost merge shard. This shard feels unnatural. You can't wash away the feeling that someone's looking at you from inside the crystal, and, if your own fa and it's your own face looking back at you. The crystal... The central crystal looks like it was weaved from a mist of or a cloud. Dabbing it with a finger brings a tingling sensation. You feel its presence like it's part of your body, a phantom limb you've never had. Oh, there's clearly... Oh, I was so focused on the big paragraph on the right, but the, the, the menu clearly explains what these things do. So, gives you health points, replenishes the checkpoints, increases energy regeneration for 30 seconds, brings back your ghost and its stored experience immediately. So if I die, I can use the ghost shard to get my stuff back immediately, but I, it's a consumable, so I presumably will lose it if I use it once. But that kind of is insurance against the whole idea of, of uh, carrying a ton of experience and losing it all at once. So I think I'm going to go a long time, if I can, without... Uh, without using a checkpoint to see if I can get a good combo going on. And this is 30 seconds of mana regeneration. Let's look at my other gear. So, my weapon, I could have, I have a bunch of swords and hammers, but I'm, I think I'm going to stick with my dagger for now. And there's a great sword there called the pers called Persistence. It looks like it could almost be the, let's see, it could almost be the dagger, the weapon that that boss was using. The Rogar are said to be fierce opponents, and fighting them is something like fighting those who have survived... Oh. And fighting them is something that those who have survived won't ever forget. 
I'm reading too fast. It's making me lose track of what I'm going for. So we have these runes. They're unknown runes, so I don't know what they do yet. And I can't do anything with them, so I must have to find someone to do that. Two different shields that I can go for. Uh, I mean, this one has 100% block defense, so I, I'd would rather make that my favorite than the other one, right? There we go. So that the Bulwark shield has 100% block, so I might as well use that if I'm ever going to use a shield. Although I'll probably dual wield a lot. I'm currently wearing the, that, that. It's all currently equipped. There we go. That's my new piece of equipment. Faithful Discipline Trinket. An acolyte's paraphernalia. It, it used to be a common... It used to be common within the ancient group of northern friars. It is believed to be the amulet regenerator. It is believed that the amulet regenerated their spellcrafting powers. Might as well equip that. Equip that. Maybe it'll give me more mana. Perhaps. I think I'm back. I think I might be back in overly caffeinated mode, because I am stumbling over myself reading. Well, that was it, I guess. So I guess we'll go back to the boss chamber and continue continue forward. Uh, really, I thought there was gonna be like a challenge in there, but it's just some loot. All right, I'll see you guys back at the uh, boss chamber and we'll continue forward. All right, all right, we're back in the initiation room. We're ready to continue forward. Got a little bit of experience from a few things I killed on the way here. And I'm looking to get more along the way. There's one of those guys with the big axes down there. Be careful about those. And there's some more plague carriers. Go see if I can sneak up on this guy real quick. Surprise! Uh, there's many ways to deal increased damage. Surprise attacks one of them. Approach the infested slowly and quietly. Okay. I, uh, I definitely, I definitely figured that one out already. Thanks for telling me. Just in case I hadn't figured it out before an entire boss fight. <laughs> to be fair, there was like five enemies before the boss, so I guess someone could have not known that stealth would be an option. Which way is he facing right now? He's definitely facing me. Okay. I'm going to grab the... Is he going to notice me? Soon after banishing the god, the three men that were known as the judges parted ways forever. Apart from their common goal, they were very different in every possible way. Three statues were built for them on the square of the judges, displaying the distinct paths they had taken. These statues hold a secret as if it were their heart, but it is retained by the stone. Only the shard of heroes could make that heart beat, and only an unearthly force could tear it out. It looks like from that chest we got our heavy armor set you would get if you were playing as a warrior. So, or at least that's what I assume it is, because I, I, I honestly wouldn't know what armor that is. But it said warrior armor and it said heavy, so maybe that's the same set you could start with. If that's the case, you can definitely... The starting class probably doesn't really matter. It only really affects the first fight, it seems. And you can get all the other equipment whenever you want. We have a window that just goes... It looks like a balcony is out there, I think. I don't think it just drops off out there, so there's some kind of balcony. Don't know if I can ever open that door, though. We have an enemy here. Let's be ready for him. To dodge. You thought you could get in there. Enjoy the backstab. Yes. Down you go. If you get if you get the right opportunity, you can take these guys out without them, that, them even getting in a fight back. Just dodge, dodge the first attack and get in there for the backstab as fast as possible. And then you're pretty much set. So we have more downward motion or this door that might... Yep, it does open. So what are we going to find in here? We have an enemy. A blind enemy. It's a good thing they're blind, because otherwise they'd be really cheap attacking me when I can barely see the environment anyway. We have him. Is there someone else around? Hello? I don't see anything immediately. Oh, the chest. Hell yeah. Gimme. <laughs> I like this. I like that I kick, I kick chest to open them. That's, that's a reasonable way to handle chest. Is he noticing me? No, he's just kind of flogging around. I'll just grab this scroll. We can't stand against such forces much longer. We must find a place to hide. A place with walls and soldiers. Mighty Antares, we will be on our way. Please prepare for a few dozen refugees. So that's, that wraps right around, so it's just one little loop with two enemies in it. Might as well clear them out for the experience, since these guys are pretty easy. Can't get behind this guy. <laughs> But I can still surprise him because he's not capable of, capable of seeing. Wow, finishing move. The more you, the more you learn, I guess. And we picked up an item. Another sealed rune. We're gonna have to figure out how to identify these or unseal them, I suppose, would be the equivalent here. I, I wonder if they're weapons or if they're weapon upgrades. So we have a door and we have two of these guys. 
If I can sneak up on the one on the left, I can take him out before he does anything. There we go. He'll probably die of this. Hopefully this guy... Yep, I'm invincible during that, mo that move. Which is good, otherwise that guy could have really caused me problems. Alright, more loot for us. So far, this isn't too tough. I had some difficulties with the boss. Oh, there's all the cleric armor. So, so far I've found all the armor for the other two classes, I assume. Which makes the class selection kind of pointless. Aside from perhaps the spell part. And we're outside! In a nice, open-looking environment. I hope we see a lot more of these around. Oh, and we have another checkpoint over there. I'm gonna go ahead and ignore that. I feel like I don't really need one. I've only fought a few enemies. And it'd be good to get a nice multiplier going here. I'm not gonna get to sneak behind this guy, probably. Oh, maybe I can. I'm very careful. How slowly can you move in this game? Oh, unsuccessful, unsuccessful. That was not a success. Maybe I can pummel him down before he gets to return. Thankfully, he stuns easy, but I took some hits. Let's be careful here. If I'm not going to use checkpoints for a experience multiplier, I have to be careful because I will run out of exp I will uh, run out of potions. Let's sneak up on this dude carefully. I want to take out these guys before that guy with the axe notices me. So I'm taking advantage of the fact that he seems to be patrolling. P p did I just? Are they both dead? What just happened there? Oh god, there he is! <laughs> I wasn't sure what to make of that at first. That was strange. Okay. So we have this guy being a problem. Can I lure him away? Oh, that guy's just gonna run around whacking things, isn't he? Is there anyone else around that I have to worry about? Doesn't look like it. Hey. Help me. Help me, please. Open the gate. Dodge was unsuccessful, unfortunately. get some hits in. Ah, camera flipped the hell out there. That's unfortunate. Okay, ah. Uh, that was an unsuccessful roll. Okay, I'm gonna have to get back to this point. That was a really weird camera flip out there. That's unfortunate. Alright, I'm ready to fight this guy again. Weirdly enough, my checkpoint was just right by that door up there. It didn't make me go all the way back to the previous save point. Which makes me a little unsure of the exact specifications of how the checkpoint system works in this game. But okay, I guess... As a Let's Player, I'm not going to be cutting as much footage as I am used to cutting from playing a Souls game. Because it looks like... Oh god, I've attacked one, one too many times. Let's back off a moment. This game's not super punishing so far. Oh! Just because the uh, checkpoints aren't very spaced out, it seems. So the game has those crystal things that are like this game's equivalent of bonfires. But it seems to also just have straight up checkpoints when you, enter, when you go through doors and stuff. And those ones are... This one just sort of happened, I guess. Hey, buddy. Oh, God. I thought I locked onto him, but I guess he sort of went in a weird direction. Finish him off. I I'm surprised that guy didn't aggro. I wasn't... I guess I wasn't fighting him directly. Did he drop anything? Ooh, I can walk up on this ledge. Maybe there's something behind it? Maybe, or maybe not. Okay. The other guy didn't drop anything either. I'm gonna check by the checkpoint. Or the save spot or anything. Because there might... Nope. I thought there might be something on the floor somewhere, but I guess not. So someone asked me to help them, so let's try to find him. He wants me to open the gate. Is he behind the gate? Is there someone behind there? Yep, there he is. Is that Kazlo, or is that, or is that someone new? Could easily be someone I've never met before. And we have another axe man, but he's all alone this time, which makes him easier, hopefully. Hey, buddy. Nope. Ah! Getting a little frustrated with how sluggish my roll is. Because it, uh... I keep thinking, I have just enough time to backstab that guy. But then my roll doesn't recover fast enough for me to deal with his weakness. Weirdly enough, that wasn't apparently a backstab opportunity a moment ago. I, s I seem to have perfect behind-the-back opportunity, but it didn't trigger the animation. Hoop. These guys are definitely not super fast. Ow! Shit! Camera! Camera doesn't seem to know how to track you sometimes. It just kind of loses its mind. Gonna, oh, I thought I was okay. I thought I was rolling backwards, but I guess not. Let's, let's quickly heal. Nope. The roll feels really strange to me. I, I need to get used to this. Things that feel like they should admit they, they shouldn't hit me are hitting me. Let's see, runes are very mysterious. I, I'm trying to get a dark background for this. Before you can use them for crafting, someone needs to needs to help you by breaking their protective seal. But wait, 
There might be a use for sealed runes to runes too. You'll be able to craft these weapons, shields, and armors that have special rune slots. Okay. We have a burning bridge down there. This actually looks a lot like Diablo 3. Down to the, uh, like the final, the final act of the vanilla game, or second to last act of the vanilla game with the snowy area. Looks like this will open my, the, uh, gate that guy needs help with. There we go. So let's see if he'll, let's see who's down here exactly. Actually, before we check... Oh, it didn't even open the gate. Maybe there's a second lever on the other side. Some sort of conjoined thing. Kind of help, helpful, because if you're being sieged, it'd be anti-ambush -amb for a second. Oh god, you're new. You look fast. I don't like that. Okay. Be ready for this dude. Oh. Okay, I don't, that was a really weird animation moment for us. Okay, careful. I don't want to use too much stamina attacking, because I want to dodge. Okay. Uh, that did not work for me at all. I'm going to move away for you for a moment. Here's a quick healing opportunity. Oh god, he's coming after me faster than I thought he would. <laughs> he just mainlined those stairs, didn't he? Ow! Ow! Okay. Interesting. So him and his fast weapon, they, he doesn't exactly uh, project the fact that he's about to attack. He can just sort of hit you immediately. This guy's super fast. So I want to trigger an attack and see if I can get in and get the fuck out again. There we go. <laughs> he's doing the same tactics tactics is me, basically. That's kind of amusing. Oh, there we go. Finished him off. That was like a... We were sort of mutual in that fight. That was interesting. He had sort of the same move set and speed that I did. A little more absurd and flippy and stuff, but same overall sort of sense of speed. Ooh, an item. I got another sealed rune. Okay. Does this also have something in it? No? But we have a lever. So let's open this up and see who's downstairs. That thing is massive. What kind of strange contraption would be hooked up to that kind of thing? Seems almost like it'd be more advanced than this, this sort of thing would actually be. So who are you? I don't I don't know if you're the person I came in here with. You look like someone else. You help me, please! What happened to your hand? Spider venom! It burns like Adir himself touched it! Rip the wound and suck the poison out. Too late. It already spread. There's only one way to stop the venom. Separate the poisoned limb from the body. You want me to cut my arm off? You're a madman. You'll see the judges soon then. I can't. I won't. It's in your hands. All right. On your head be it. Thank you. I owe my life to you, stranger. Wait. You're not one of the monastics. The markings on your face. A gift from the court. A reminder of my sins. Please, put the axe down now. I need to get inside the main building. I'm looking for Antanas. Antanas is in the Citadel. But the gates had been sealed as soon as the Rogar started swarming in. It's now impossible to get inside. And even if you would, I don't know if you'd find anyone alive inside. The sky rained fire and something has crashed into the tower. I think the Square of the Judges is the only possible way to enter the Citadel. If it hasn't been already destroyed, maybe you'll find a passage there. You need someone to patch you up. You won't hold long in this state. I am the healer monk here. And yes, I see the irony of the situation. You must have supplies. I do. They're in the laboratory, but the place is full of Rogar beasts. It's no use. I won't make it there in this condition. Here, take this one. Well, I just gave away my potion to help somebody. I guess I'm being a good guy this time. I'm sure I'll, they'll make me pay for that. Alright. Kelso is alone and wounded. Find him before it's too late. Why did he take off? Wasn't... 
Am I- am I wrong, or was Kazlo the guy that was with me when I did that boss fight? Like, did he just take off in some direction, or is he actually, like... I don't know what to make of this exactly. See, those guys don't seem to notice me because they're blind, so let's check this- Oh! Blocked on the other side. This one opens. What's behind it? We have a chamber, we have a staircase. And we have spider creatures down here. So these would be what infected that guy down there. Be careful about this. I don't know what we're getting ourselves into exactly. They die fast, though. That's good. I, I can kill things fast. All right, so what... Oh my god, that whole table exploded. I'm sorry. I'm not that sorry, but I'm a little sorry. <laughs> when in doubt, roll, your, roll until everything explodes. Ooh, a chest. Thank you. What can I find in here? Speaking of that cutscene that happened back there, it's kind of interesting to see someone just casually chop off an arm. Not even casually, he's like, showing off his amazing axe flipping skills and stuff. I'm like, look at me twirl this axe! Aren't I cool? By the way, I'm about to chop your limb off, isn't that cool? <laughs> they, uh, definitely spared no expense with the lip syncing, I say sarcastically. Because the lip syncing is just one animation of the entire jaw opening and closing in a very even way. Let's try to DPS him down before he gets to react. There we go. These, these, these simple, uh, infected guys are easy enough where you can just sort of bait one attack. And then after that attack is baited, you can kind of just pummel them to death. There's a door here. Question is, can I open it? I can open it, and it takes me... So th this takes me along the, the uh, lower path of this wall. So that'll be forward progress-ish. So let's go back up here and check the opposite path. I assume this will let me go upstairs and unblock that wall, that doorway. It's probably blocked because there's probably a fight or something up here. Are you an NPC? Or an enemy? Let's take a look, I guess. Hello? Do you talk? Okay. You... get away from me. Don't hurt me. I've no mind to take your life. You have my thanks. But understand your markings, your face. You frighten me. There are demons infesting the whole of this place. Flee if you wish to live. Everyone took refuge in the citadel. And Tanisar leader gave oath that he would mark the way to the remaining entrance. But I can't follow the signs when the whole place is teamed by those monsters. I'm trapped. I'll keep an eye on the markings. Listen carefully. This trinket will help you discover Antanas' markings. There are three signs I know of. Please find them. Return to me as soon as you locate the signs Antanas left for us. If you help me, I'll give you something of interest in return. So they want us to find the signs of Artanis. Okay. So let's take a look at this trinket we've had. Let me look at the... This trinket makes Antanas' hidden signs visible to his followers. So if I highlight this... Maybe it'll let us see things in the environment? Perhaps? I'm not sure what they'll look like, but I'll keep an eye out, I guess. Let's roll through a few things. Nothing around here. Okay. I wonder if I can attack these people. I'm not going to right now. Can I interact with anything around here? No. Let's go back upstairs. Is it, Can I unblock the door? There we go. Just block from the other side. Until I do that, there's a lot of enemies up there. Let's check out that lower path I unlocked to see if anything cool is down there. And if we want to, we can clear the top path later and potentially get more loot along the way. We're on the northern wall now. Oh, someone's down there. I can see their health bar. It is just one of those... Oh, there's one on the ground. Oh, he's got a bow. They can use bows? I thought they were blind. Didn't they say they were blind? Maybe that one's not blind. Ow. Motherfucker, that guy has range. Ow. Okay. Jesus Christ. I thought he was going to stop hitting me, but I guess not. So I'm all out of healing. Apparently my shield is up. I don't, I don't even... I didn't even notice myself switch to a shield, but okay. That guy's going to be a problem, isn't he? Yep. If I can be careful about this, maybe I can deal with this asshole first off. Okay, I'm in, pr I'm in trouble now. I'm in trouble now. 
Oh, he can still shoot you while you're... Okay, this is bad. I'm in trouble here. I'm gonna backtrack to that checkpoint to see if it'll heal me. Oh, let's turn around. When I, is he gonna shoot me? There, there it goes. Do not want to take that hit. Instead of dying, I'm just gonna go ahead and re return to the checkpoint. And just let that happen. I'm definitely short on healing po uh, potions and it's becoming a problem. Okay, here we go. I want to point out that this shield says it has a 100% block percentage, but I'm not. I'm still taking damage a little bit. But okay, let's use this checkpoint. Unfortunately, I probably have to fight my way through everything again. Or not? I don't see any bad guys around. Oh well. Let's go ahead and level up, just because I haven't done that for a while. Do I have? Yeah, I have a lot of. I have some experience to spend. Let's give me some attribute points. There we go. I can afford a few of these. So we want to... How much strength can I, do I need to take to increase my damage? No amount of strength will increase my damage. So it is it... Am I using a dexterity weapon? Is that why? That is why. Okay. So if I put all of... So if I put one point into agility, it immediately gives me more damage. And then each one gives me a little bit more energy after that point. So what if we do two points in agility and two points in vitality, perhaps? That sounds like the, a way to go for now. There we go. Need hit points to keep going, right? Checkpoint's active, so we should be good now. Now let's try to progress forward here. So that, uh... Weird that there's no enemies here. What does the, uh... So, the, it, so it looks like these checkpoints don't, don't work like bonfires, then. It looks like enemies don't respawn when you use one. So this is very different from what I was expecting. So I can go back to one of those to heal and get all of my and get some healing potions back. Only three though I'm noticing. I have three healing potions out of a total maximum of uh, seven. Where is the other guy? Oh, he's standing this time. This time the second guy's actually standing up. Okay. Maybe I can sneak up behind him. Okay, can I, I, I failed to sneak up behind the guy, but I can just pummel this guy down for a moment here. Careful. Time for you to go down. And apparently someone decided to send me a friend request right now. A little awkward. I'm in the middle of something right now. Uh, what are we going to see up here? Anybody here? I don't think anyone's up here, sir. Maybe some monsters. Uh... There's a gate here that looks like it could be opened, but I don't see a mechanism for it yet. I break this box, nothing's in it. Okay, we're gonna have to, the only way to go is through here. And hopefully I'll get a chance to go back upstairs. Oh god! Oh god, guy just showed up! Okay, surprise! Hella danger now. Oh god, okay, hey! Hey, hey, nope! Got to be careful about how we handle this. Let's see. How does my shield bash work? Do, do I just stun people with it? I, I thought I could shield bash with left trigger. Attribute required and meant not meant. Okay. Oh. Is that what's going on? Do I not have enough... Uh, uh, oh. Okay, let's switch back to my other shield then. That's what's going on. Is I don't have the strength required for the shield. Did not notice that the first time. So now I can do a shield bash. Question is that is that a parry and repost or does it just bash people? What's he doing? Oop. Okay, blocking does not do your energy any favors, but this camera is doing me even fewer favors. It's getting stuck in. It's almost. It almost feels like these environments aren't fully tested to have the camera flip out like that or get behind walls and things. What is he doing right now? Okay. I'm not ready to say bad game yet, because I'm still- I am actually having fun right now, but this does- I'm not- I don't think that Dark Souls has a lot to worry about <laughs> as far as competition goes so far, but at least it's something new to play, because Lord knows I don't get any more new Souls content until Bloodborne comes out or we get a surprise announcement of DLC, 